Welcome to the Flag Bearer Channel. This is Little Known Black History Facts. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. How a fashion show launched the movement, the Grandassa Models. Marcus Garvey is credited with coining the phrase, Black is Beautiful. During the 1920s, the Pan-Africanist leader adopted the term, Garvey encouraged black women to embrace their natural hair and features. He said, don't remove the kinks from your hair, remove them from your brain. He believed that attempting to follow white Eurocentric standards of beauty denigrated the beauty of black women. The concept of black being beautiful waned and almost died after Garvey was deported and then with his death. The Black is Beautiful movement was a powerful cultural and social movement that re-emerged during the 1960s and 1970s. It aimed to challenge traditional beauty standards that predominantly favored Eurocentric features and to promote the beauty and value of Blackness. The movement, just as Garvey attempted, sought to uplift Black individuals and communities instill a sense of pride and self-acceptance, and combat the negative effects of racism and colorism. Its purpose celebrated the diversity of Black appearances and promoted the idea that Black people should define their own standards of beauty. The movement celebrated Black beauty, culture, and heritage, emphasizing self-acceptance, pride, and empowerment. It sought to promote positive representations of black individuals in various aspects of society, including media, fashion, art, music, and literature. The Black is Beautiful movement had a significant impact on various aspects of society and the overall perception and recognition of black culture. It remains an influential movement that continues to inspire and empower individuals today. The term black is beautiful usually evokes memories and visions that might fill your head full of afros, black exploitation films, black empowerment, civil rights movement, and black fists held in the air. In 1962, a photographer, a group of models, and a fashion show in Harlem would kickstart a cultural and political movement. In January 1962, a group of artists known as the African Jazz Art Society and Studios, staged a fashion show in Harlem that would change American culture forever. The event, held in the basement of the Harlem Purple Manor, a popular nightclub on East 125th Street, it was called Naturally 62, and it was intended to promote African culture and fashion. What made the show revolutionary were the models. The models used were dark skin and wore naturally unprocessed hair. They were part of the newly formed Grandassa models, and they were unlike any fashion models that the crowd had ever seen. It was a pioneering concept, women coming out on stage wearing their hair in a natural state. The organizers did not know how the community would respond. However, by the end of the evening, audience members were cheering the models. The show's slogan, Black is Beautiful, which was printed on all the promotional materials used to promote the event, such as flyers and posters, became the rallying cry and sparked the movement celebrating natural hair, darker skin, and African heritage. The Naturally 62 fashion show organizers, who along with photographer Kwame Brathwaite and his brother Elon Broth began recruiting young women to model in a community-based fashion show. The show featured black women who had chosen to move away from Western beauty standards. The models who walked down the catwalk that night had deep chocolate complexions, full lips and noses, and wore their Afro hair with pride, highlighting their kinky textures. The clothing that they wore was inspired by designs from the African continent. Their bodies were fuller figured than the women pictured in fashion magazines. The Grandassa models were not only challenging the Eurocentric aesthetic, they were also challenging the use of light skin, straight hair black models in black publications. At that time, there were lots of protesting about how in Ebony Magazine you couldn't find an Ebony girl. The models were black women who could show other black women that blackness was something to take pride in. 
The original eight models who were chosen to be the first Grandasa models were also followers of Marcus Garvey's ideology. The show was about empowerment. It was about self-sufficiency and supporting your black community. The event was so popular that it had to be held for a second time that same night. Through the 1960s and 70s, black power activists sought economic self-sufficiency by developing black-owned businesses and promoted black culture and pride. The phrase, black is beautiful, became a political mantra for the Black Panthers as it was chanted at their rallies. In pop culture, its influence is undeniable. It was the forerunner of the black power movement. The fashion show was about more than just appearances, however. It kick-started the Black is Beautiful movement that spanned throughout the 1960s and 70s. The show had sparked a movement that would change the way Black people were represented forever. Until next time, if you like little-known history facts as I do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell to be notified of future uploads. Thank you for watching.